What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back again with another strategy that we're going to be using. Okay, so it's a quite very famous mobile phone strategy. Okay, it's also known as the Payapa strategy for those that know the name. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you what which mistakes most people make and what other people don't tell you as in uh, what other people don't say, don't mention because they would want it to look as if it's what perfect okay so i'm going to mention all those what all those errors that the strategy have and then later in the video i'm going to show you what which indicators you are that you are supposed to add in order to make what the strategy profitable and when to enter exactly okay so stay tuned watch till the end okay so let me start by what deleting all these what indicators so that we can add them together add them together okay so you can just screenshot them okay so we press out the f right there a dot in get us then let me start by deleting everything okay so now i got a clear one now i got a clear chart okay so the strategy works for all indices either boom and crash a stock indices a volatility indices everything it works on all even currencies it works on currencies okay so let me start adding what the indicators okay so on the main chart we're going to okay let me start by showing you what everyone has what before what showing you what the entries that you are supposed to take so let's start by adding what the indicator window so first press out the rsi relative strength index okay that's what we're going to add first okay then uh, the period is one apply to close pixels one then color choose the color of your background my background is white so i use white if your background is black you can choose black okay so then for the levels right so levels are going to have level 10 20 80 90 and 50 then for the description you are going to add uh, on level 80 add the cell right cell right here then on level 20 buy the level 50 tp okay you can choose in the descriptions if you want okay so then click what done right now we've got what an indicator window down there right then we are going to add moving average so for the first moving average we are going to add the moving average period 5 exponential apply to close then pixel i'm going to choose two pixels to make them to make the indicator window thicker so that the signals will be more clear okay then color i'm going to choose green for this one then click what done right then for the second moving average i'm going to add moving average period eight right then method is exponential apply to close style two pixels color i'm going to choose yellow then click done right then for the next moving average is period is 13 right method exponential apply to close then color i'm going to choose blue dark blue right then i click done then uh, got another moving average period is 21 uh, color I'm choosing red exponential apply to closes that's what we're doing sorry yeah it's 21 not 121 yeah yeah like this then uh, moving average period 25 I'm going to choose paper for this one done then for the last moving average we're going to add moving average period 200 color i'm choosing black done okay so firstly i'm going to start uh, with this one in case because that's what most people just use they don't uh, use other uh, other confirmation one indicators okay so i'm first going to show you what what mistakes people make the mistakes people make and uh, other people don't mention okay then uh, later in the video i'm going to show you what you're supposed to add to make this strategy what more profitable and uh, 
the indicators, the entries that you are supposed to take, okay, and when to enter exactly to reduce what fake trades, okay. So, for the first thing that I want you to know is that uh, the this indicator window here, the Piper strategy, it repaints, okay. What do I mean by repainting, okay? As you can see right here, let me add what, okay, right here. Look down below right there okay right as you can see uh we had our the moving averages all those moving averages they all gathered right here at level 20 right so we would enter out our buy is expecting of all expecting it to it to hit out tp level right there right and then if we moved to the right side as you can see the market continued to go out to go down right here continue to go to go down right so this that's what i mean by what repainting it only the indicator window right there it only changes depending on what the current market structure right so if the market keeps going down this this moving averages will keep moving what further back to the what to the upside okay so if the current market price keeps going what down even if the Moving averages reach, reach the level what the level 2010 for our buy. If it keeps going down, these moving averages will keep what we're pointing what backwards. Okay, so that's what I first want you to know. Let me add uh, a brush so that it's easier. Okay, right. So, okay, so that's what I mean. That's the first what. So, the problem with repainting is that uh, we are going to have what. Many fake trades, okay. We are going to, as you can see right here, the only instance when it does not repaint, okay, is when we get what? When if is, if when we move the charts, they won't be what? It won't move, okay. As you can see right here, on this level right there, right? Yeah, it did not repaint because what? This was a what? A valid signal because what the market continued to go what to go downwards okay so here it does not dip, repaint but we everywhere where you are going to see what these small caves right it shows that the market pretended that it's gonna it's going to sell while it is while least it wasn't going to sell okay so that's what most people don't tell you they just assume you you just think that uh, whenever the moving average is reached what this level you are automatically going to what to get a sale anyway the problem with this what is that whenever you back test okay it will look as if every time every single time it works although though that's not always the case right as you can see right here right here it if you are back testing only without uh, taking on the trades on demo you think that uh, it whenever it comes here it what it will buy whereas Everywhere you are going to see what these small caves, right? It shows that the market also pretended that it was, it was going to buy right there, but it what it didn't. Okay, so that's why we add what this moving out this black moving average, the 200 moving average, so that what whenever the price, the moving averages are above the what the whenever the 200 is below what. The moving averages we are looking for what buys and when it's above the moving averages we are looking for what for sales right that's what we're going to, that's what the first condition that we are going to use to what to refine this one these trades right okay so that's the what first misconception so these are the disadvantages of this is that firstly you are going to get what many fake trades okay then for number two well, when you are big testing, it will seem as if the strategy works all the time, though that's not always what the case, right? So we are going to be adding what some more what indicators that to show you what, so that you know when and how you are supposed to enter correctly to reduce what losses, okay? So that's what I'm going to be jumping into what next. So stay tuned, okay? So. This is what most people don't tell you that this moving averages, this pie upper strategy, it repaints. So 
the strut this moving average won't be what won't show you the perfect entry all the time okay and uh, so so let me tell you what i've noticed uh, from my own perspective as in when i use this what strategy what i analyzed and noticed that the strategy does okay so for the first thing that i noticed is that on a trending market when the market is in a strong what uptrend or downtrend the moving averages these moving averages these moving average that move in a bunch okay they will keep what when they reach level 90 if it's a strong uptrend they will they will gather at one point pointing up as in there won't be anyone retracement right so if it's he hasn't showed any signs of what forming a cave it won't be entered what it won't be safe to enter your your cell right so you first wait for for the cave to form that's the first thing that we're going to do for it to cave then if it caves it are uh, between this zone the 80 and the 90 we don't take out our cell yet right we wait for it to uh, to come out of the what level 80 then we take out our cell right then let me add what the remaining indicators that so that i show you uh, how to enter correctly okay so for these indicators uh, let me for the main chart we're going to be adding two moving averages okay so on click on what the main chart not indicator window main chart okay main chart we're going to be adding moving average yeah right here we're going to be adding moving average 20 period 20 sorry then color i'm going to be choosing red for this one right then one pixel i don't know like thick lines on my chart they will be disrupting me. okay then click what done as you can see we've got what a moving average right there right then for the second moving average you're going to be adding moving average period 50 color i'm choosing black click done right now we've got two moving average then for the indicator window okay right here on the click here it says indicator window right we're going to be adding the stochastic indicator right period is 56 then 3 3 low i take a screenshot okay then click what done so this is what it's supposed to, to look like okay so for the conditions so the first condition is that let me okay first condition obviously uh market has to write the moving averages let's start with the what with the for the sale confirmation okay so for the first uh confirmation for what for our sale the moving averages this moving all these moving averages they have to reach what level 90 right the stochastic and the what the moving averages they all have to reach what the level 90 right then for the second one condition is that we wait for what this stochastic right this stochastic right there right for it to come below what these moving averages right there right so we only enter our sales when the stochastic crosses over what this what moving averages so right here we would have entered our cell right here which would be around there right then for the second condition we have to wait for for these moving averages on the what on the main chart to cross right so we'd have taken our entry could have been somewhere around uh, okay, let me use it the cross here okay so would have taken our entry somewhere there right so yeah wait for what this to cross then for the zoom level we have to use the what the smallest zoom level like this right we don't have to zoom in here just like this zoom out okay so right here for this buy right the moving average is to reach what level 20 right here right then when the stochastic crosses what over to this what over these moving averages 
we start looking for what? buy trades and when the moving average is cross we enter what our buy right then for the take profit levels for the take profit if the we are going to if the 200 moving average okay if this black moving average right here is in our what in our favor okay so in this case we are buying so which means the 200 moving average is to be below the stochastic and all the other what, moving averages in this case it was built it was below so right here we will hold what our trade to it reaches what until what the stochastic reaches what the these levels right there until our moving average is reach what the level 90 right and then if the moving average if you are entering against what the moving the 200 moving average the black moving average on our on our indicator window our take profit we are going to be using what level 50 right so that's what we're going to be doing okay so let me show you how this works on one the boom and crash okay so this is what sorry this okay this is boom 500 right so on boom 500 as in using this strategy i only like you looking for for sale confirmations as in i only looking i only look for ticks scalping ticks okay so in fact this time i will be swinging ticks because this is a long term trend depending on the time frame that we are going to be using okay so you can use it on the five minutes starting from the five minute i don't encourage you to use it on the one minute time frame because it changes what drastically okay so on this chart right here okay first condition our moving averages reach what the level 90 right then for the second condition our stochastic crosses what the other moving average is somewhere there right and then for the third confirmation we wait for what for ems to cross on the main chart right so as you can see if we wait for what for the indicators on the main chart to cross they won't be much much you won't have to wait for what for much longer for the trade to go in profit and like entering somewhere here it could consolidate and then go in the opposite direction which will be very boring it would be very frustrating okay so if you wait for the what for the ems to cross you know that they will be what the trade do most most of the time the trade will go straight into profit without uh, you waiting for a long time if, to see if the trade will work or not okay so for the so for the entry i already told you right then for the stop loss you just uh, place your stop loss on the previous high or previous low okay depending on what if you are in a what in a buy or not okay so yeah this is what i was talking about when i was saying that this indicator is what repaint right so as you can see if you move your chart somewhere here right the as you can see the moving average is really right? level what level 80 and 90 right so you'll be thinking and it's already what consolidating on the main chart right here so you'll be thinking what uh, i'll enter what my sale right now but look what it what happened the market was still near what in a strong uptrend right so it continued what going up right so that's what i want i want you guys to what to avoid right so wait for what? for the indicators right here to reach what the level uh, the level 90 right wait for what the stochastic to cross what this moving average is right there right and then we enter when what when this moving average is cross right there right so and uh, for our exit we exit one when the stochastic what which is what these levels right there and then uh, when you see this stochastic ranging below right there it shows that the market is still selling or is still what buying right so you won't have to exit your what? your trade immediately right you can use even use what, a trend line or some sort like here if you draw a trend line and when this trend line gets broken you know that the market is what changed what direction same with this one well same as right here you can draw a trend line on the stochastic indicator and when it gets broken 
you can enter your you can exit your buy right so it's another neat strategy that uh, you can even probably use right you can draw your trend, your trend line right there and when it gets broken you know that what the market is a change structure